So we're just a few miles south of Livingston, Montana. So as you can see, an absolutely beautiful part of the country. We're just on the northern edge of Yellowstone National Park. They're doing some guardrail replacement project here, just north in the next one to two miles. So this contractor selected these portable traffic signals as an alternative to human flaggers. So it's reducing exposure to humans on the roadway. Um, it's also more cost effective to use and rent these portable traffic signals versus uh, traditional flaggers. And then at night, when both lanes of traffic are opened and they're not doing their guardrail work, they clear these cones and drums out of the way, um, turn the signals off, and then it's just normal uh, two-way traffic on this roadway. Tomorrow morning, 6, 7 a.m. when they start right back up, they can turn these signals on. And right now, the northbound traffic is queuing over here to my left, you can see they're sitting at this red light. And here in just a few minutes, the queue of cars that are traveling southbound into Yellowstone will be coming right behind us because they've already been released at that north and northernmost signal, which is about a mile and a half from here. So again, we're improving work zone safety first and foremost and efficiency. These devices are equipped with a high level of technology. So we're communicating back to uh, headquarters and our command center via cellular communication, uh, also satellite. If we get into a more remote region, we can communicate through a uh, satellite network. And then these signals are also um, have a level of redundancy between them so that they're never losing communication. Um, uh, radio, Wi-Fi, cellular communication, kind of a triple redundant network, uh, always ensuring that they're able to stay in touch with each other and we're not um, conflicting with how we're releasing traffic, uh, potentially causing an unsafe situation. You can see behind me now the motorists that are traveling southbound. Uh, they were probably released from that signal two minutes ago. Um, traveling southbound into Yellowstone National Park. I talked about the real-time visibility that our command center or even our contractors have to these signals. Real time, I can log into my app on my phone or my computer and I can see this project literally from anywhere in the world. Even uh, as granular details as what uh, this signal is doing, it would show me right now it's in a red status. And then it would also show me uh, this traffic that's moving southbound through the park. So I can tell at any time exactly what's going on in my project and they can even make modifications to the signal timing. For some reason, we needed to put both of these in red, maybe to get a slow moving uh, piece of construction equipment through the work zone. That can all be done remotely through our command center with a simple phone call or even a click of a two-way radio with the general contractor here on the ground communicating back to the control center. So these signals have been around for 20 plus years. Certainly a proven technology that more and more contractors are picking up on. And we see it as the future. So the contractors tell us every single day how hard it is to find manual labor. And also we hear horror stories of uh, people getting killed within work zones, uh, flaggers and traffic control professionals in particular. So we're, we're kind of checking a number of those boxes, making sure the motorists are uh, safely traveling the work zone and also keeping those traffic safety professionals safe.